All right, we are set for News Extra this morning. Kevin Mooney across the way with his guests in studio today. It's brought to you by Joan Funeral Home. Here's Kevin. Thank you, Steve, and good morning, everyone. And uh, our guests today are Andrea Graham and Simon Gudetta. And uh, Simon is a, a student from Ethiopia here. He went to uh, Gearing High School. I think I mentioned Scott's Bluff earlier. It was Gearing. Gearing High School is where he went. And uh, uh, Simon is trying to go to college here in the United States, but it's a little difficult to do that. Andrea is his uh, uh, mom here in the United States. Uh, uh, kind of explain how you, how you met Simon first of all, Andrea. Okay. Um, Simon is, you know, his application came in. Um, I actually place foreign exchange students for an organization called PAX, the Program of Academic Exchange. So... I am fortunate enough to get to see all the applications that come through, and we saw Simon's and thought, hey, this kid looks like he's pretty special. And so we went through the process of becoming a host family. Yeah, you and your husband, Daniel, right? That's correct, yes, yes. And actually, it was our son, Dade, who, who made the final vote, because it was a family decision. And he, we, we decided to bring Simon over, and it's been an absolutely uh, wonderful transformational experience I think for all of us. He's been here since uh, August of last year, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay, and he went to Gearing High School as an exchange student and did rather well the way I understand. He did. He did. He's um, extremely gifted in math and science. And we need more people that are gifted in math and science, that's for sure. Yes, we do. I am not one of those people, so it was nice having Simon in the house. He could help Dave with all of his homework this yeah, year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's good. So, uh, gifted in math and science. And uh, we'll give the mic here to Simon real quick. Uh, Simon, you came from uh, Ethiopia, and when you first got here, what was it, what was it like when you were with the Grams? Was it... Uh, kind of eye-opening? You'd maybe never had a bed and a room and all that kind of stuff before? Uh, I used to live in dorm and a house, so I've been away from like parents for three years. Uh, I'm, I did kind of forget what parents looks like, what family looks like, so I was a little bit nervous when I come and join them. But they have been very, very nice for me. They understand my career. Every change, like cultural change, language and everything. So they've been nice and they're nice for me. So yeah. that helped me to experience everything. All right. Now you're a math and science whiz. Uh, how did you get, how did you get, uh, how did you get so good at math and science? I mean, you're taking trig and all kinds of different classes. I don't know. Sometimes it's just your interest. Sometimes you know you're just interested in something, so I think it's my interest. Uh, I don't know, some kind of gifted. I don't know if so to explain, but I'm really interested in math and science. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, Andrea, you uh, uh, you had Simon here for again since last August. He kind of became a member of the family, yes. per se. And then you decided, and he wanted to go to college, and his uh, options are limited in Ethiopia, so he wanted to do that here at yes. Chandron. Yes. But there's some hangups, right? There are. It's you know, I guess with that whole American, I don't know, the, I guess ignorance. I just automatically assumed that we could apply to college and everything would be easy because he's a fantastic student a good person you know like okay this this is going to be easy we'll just apply for financial aid and um and that's when we actually started to run into some brick walls um, i'd actually contacted um, some other co uh, colleges first and that's when it was kind of an eye-opening experience because um, scholarships and grants are by large only for u.s citizens and federal financial aid, anything like that, that's also for U.S. citizens only. And there's a pretty long list of 
um, requirements, qualifications that every college requires. He has to have a certain uh, visa, right? He does. He's here on a J-1 visa right now, but he has to have an F-1 visa. And so he has to actually go back to Ethiopia. He'll be going back next Saturday. And he has to basically apply for the F-1 visa, but in order to apply for the F-1 visa, he has to have an I-20. And the I-20 is issued by the college, but in order for the college to issue the I-20, we have to fulfill the list of requirements and prepay um, for his entire first semester. So we're kind of, we're running up against the clock, but we've had some pretty um, generous, generous um, donors who stepped yeah. forward and, and really want to help out. Yeah, I know Roger Holtzinger wrote an article in the newspaper. That's kind of how I got uh, found out about this and said, you know, maybe I need to help out here a little bit. Um, so, uh, so since Roger wrote the article in the paper, you're almost there to the first semester, right? We are. We're going to actually, if, if everything goes as planned, we'll be able to surpass the first semester. Um, but uh, we're still trying to hammer out some details. Um, Kelly Larson, um, his physics teacher at Gearing, has been just pivotal in really launching the whole process and trying to help find private donors for, for Simon. Okay, that's good, but you still kind of need to pay for really most of that first year, right? We and that's do. about $15,000 total. Yes, it's, it's, it's going to be pretty expensive, and then of course, um, and after just, that, you got more money to spend exactly. on the next, next three and so years. Exactly, and we have three more years, and uh, we we would love to be able to pay for all of it for him. And but this was not something that we had planned on. You know, we we planned on having an exchange student that you know we would create this lasting bond. But what we didn't anticipate was actually getting us time. Yeah. Okay. So uh, if people want to help you guys out, uh, do they just uh, Call you? Have you got an account set up anywhere? What's what's the situation? We're actually in the process of setting up an account with U.S. Bank right now, um, but people can uh, contact me directly if um, anybody's interested in learning more about Simon, um, the situation, or would like to help out. Um, can certainly call my cell phone. Um, it's six three one one two four three. Okay. All right, and they can help you out with any kind of donation they can, they can offer, yes. right? Yes. And then, uh, so Simon goes back to Ethiopia here in about a week. Yes. Um, and then uh, you're hoping, uh, so kind of explain when you go back to Ethiopia, uh, you go back to what, your regular parents? Is that how, what works, or how does that work? What, is, uh, what happens? I'll be back to my aunt's house. I will stay there until I finish all visa process. Uh, I don't know how long it takes. I'm assuming it probably takes a mess or uh, some kind of that because I have to I have to return before August 20th for fall class. So yeah, fall classes start. Hopefully so. everything will be uh, you know on time in a mess. That's my hope. Yeah. So I stay with my uncle for Days. For a few days, yes, huh? Yeah. All right. Have you had uh, have you developed any friendships with students and so forth uh, while you were at Gearing? The kids, uh, the kids were nice and so forth at school. I actually made a lot of friends. Yeah, and they've been nice for me. The school have been nice for me. Everyone in the school have been nice for me, and I'm really impressed. I really want to say thank you for everyone at school and my parents over here. They have been doing a really, really fine for the job for me, so yeah. I will already say thank you very much. All right. Yeah. You've done very well. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the number to call is 631-1243. You also have this U.S. Bank account that you're setting up, right? Yes. Is that set up now or it's getting set it's up? It's actually getting that all completed today is what I'm okay. hoping it will be a donation account so anybody all can right. maintain a U.S. bank account. You branch. have a U.S. bank account and it will just be in Simon's name, yes. is that right? Yes. Okay. And it's S-I-M-O-N and then uh, G-U-D-E-T-A. Correct. Okay. If you're looking to do it that way, G-U-D-E-T-A, you can go to U.S. bank and make your donation to that account or they can give Andrea a call at 631-1243. Hopefully we can get the first year of 
Simon's school all paid for, and uh, and you can kind of live your dream, go to college. All right. That's right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. it'll be nice. All right. Very good. Thanks you. Thank you guys for coming in. No we wish you luck. Thank you for having us. You bet.